Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So I have another unboxing here. Yes, I know I've had a few. I had a total no spend in April and then as soon as May 1st it was like check out, check out, check out. But anyway, <laughs> I have a haul here from Goulet Pens that I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's get started. So just to give you an idea of how long it took to ship to me in Alberta, Canada, I ordered this on May 4th. It was shipped on May 5th and I received this today, May 17th. So this arrived via USPS and Canada Post. So coming from where it came from in uh, the US, I guess it took a little bit longer, but you know what, I don't mind. And there were no customs charges on this. So let's get unwrapping. So there is the packing slip, all of that. The, I'm so excited for the Sailor Yurameku samples, a Tootsie Pop. Wait, actually, that looks different. It's a Tootsie Pop mini artificial fruit punch. Gotcha. Put that to the side. I love this. Then you've got the ink splatter. I love the ink splatter stickers. And my order was packed by Brenda J. Then, a oh, bigger piece here. Oh, this is the one that I'm so excited to show you. So let's put this box out of the way. So what I have in this package here, Oh, Velcro and everything. Let's open this up. So it says 24 saddle. I don't know if you'll be able to get it just from that. Oh my goodness. This is the 24 pen case from Girologio in saddle. Look at that absolutely beautiful. So I was originally looking at the 12 pen case, but they didn't have the saddle leather. And this is the one I really wanted. Lucy's over there sniffing at the box. Um, but I ended up saying to myself, you know, eventually I will probably own more than just 12 pens. So I thought I would make the purchase for the 24 pen case. And I really wanted this particular leather. I love how how brown that looks. There's the different, dis, I, I don't even want to say discolorations, and then you've got the Girologio or Girologio logo. Uh, they are a company in India, I believe it is. And then you've got the zipper. You've also got the clip here. Instead of Velcro, I've seen this compared to the Galen Leather 20 pen case where it's held here with a Velcro. This is a button, which I think actually is a little bit more, um, it's better designed that way. So let's Ooh. A little bit stiff with the zipper, so let's open that up, and oh, beautiful. And then it mostly lies flat. I'm gonna remove these here. So this seems to put like it's got a bit of like faux velvet here, and I think this ah, I've never seen this inside before, but this I think helps too. It's like those the things that look like salt packets inside um, your packages to keep it from getting the moisture in. All right, so you've got, let's see if I'm actually in frame here. Okay, so inside the saddle, you've got this darker brown kind of soft velvet, and then this has the double straps for your pens, and then you've got the inner lining here. Let's move that out of the way. The inner one to protect the pens from actually touching each other. And I like that there isn't really a risk of this part catching on the zipper. So let's test it out with a few of my pens that I currently have in a different storage here. So I've got my Lamy Vista. I'm gonna put it in like this because I feel like I'm a little clumsy today. So Lamy Vista. And what I think I'll end up doing actually is on this side, I will have the lids going this way. Um, and actually, yeah, have all of the lids just going in that direction or the caps facing that direction. And then I have my Pilot Vanishing Point. So I'll actually put that here. I'm gonna separate these by 
brand, I think. And then I have my Sailor Pro Gear. Um, yeah, there we go. And then my Cross Botanica. So this one is quite a narrow pen. So I'm gonna put this one here. So that's the uninked. And then I have my, I'm currently keeping the Pelican in here, but I'll show you guys what it looks like for purpose sake. So then I will probably put the Pelican on this side here. And then adding the Twisby Diamond 580. I really like the two straps, like the two elastics. Then I have my Lamy All Star. I'm getting also a glimpse into my current collection here. My Pilot Decimo. And next to it, the Kakuno. Then I have my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Oh, very beautiful. And then I have the um, the Estherbrook JR in Fantasia. And where's the other one? I am, ah, here we go. My Pelcon. So I'm already looking at this and actually I think I can fit all of them on this side here. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put the Twisby Diamond 580 here. Move these two to the side because these are the ones that I only have one of each of. Then move my Pelican M400 and my Pelican 140 to this side. So this is my current collection as it stands and I love that it fills this side. Yes, there is room to grow. I don't expect to fill this this year. I'm hoping I don't fill this this year, but it looks like it fits all of these well. Like you can see all the different sizes of pens that fit in here. So then I probably could have put them in there, but that's fine. And then I'm already seeing like the zipper fold in. So let's see how easy that zips up. And I'm looking at the stitching on the sides here. It looks like there's some of the threads that are kind of fraying, but you know, I don't mind too, too much. And then a clip. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. I love, ha I love having my pens in one case like this. I'm not going to ever travel with all 24 pens if I ever have 24 pens, but it's just nice to have them in a place compact like this. Um, and knowing that whatever is uninked will be in here, or if I ever want to take my pens to a pen meet or to just show them off to the, the friends that I have currently that have fountain pens, you know who I'm talking about, Deb and Adrian. Um, yeah. Oh gosh. I love seeing them all like that. Love seeing them all like that. Ooh, so, so pretty. I'll have to do an updated fountain pen collection when I feel like I'm at the place that I can do that. All right, so that is the Girologio 24 pen case from Goulet Pens. I believe this retailed at $55.99 on the website. So big fan of that. I haven't seen too many um, unboxings or reviews of this, so I was really excited to be able to film this for you. All right, so let's put that to the side. So in my order with Yoseka Stationery, I had purchased five of the nine Sailor Yurameku inks because I had already purchased one from, I believe it was, yeah, Goulet Pens in March. So I already had the Sailor Yurameku Yoi. So I purchased the Byakuya, the Kyokuya, oh my goodness, Seki, Kitsune, Biori, and the Kangyu. Um, and then from Goulet Pens, I ordered Amamoyoi, uh, Itazora, and Kyoku. Oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher those so, so bad. I apologize. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them here as well as in my Hobonichi A6 notebook. This has the Tomo River paper. So I like to compare the two. So you've got the Midori paper and the Tomo River paper. So let me just get that set up. Okay, so the first one we will do is Amamoyoi. 
I am going to butcher every single one of these. I apologize ahead of time. So the reason that I wanted to purchase all of these was because they are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I loved how they look completely different depending on what type of paper you're using. Beautiful. And how different it's going to look from like the Tamoy River paper and the Midori paper. And it is one of those chromo shading inks that Sailor seems to do really, really well. And you almost never know what it's going to look like. So that is. Sailor Hiromeku. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna butcher this. And I don't know how to describe that color. It's like a green with pink and just so many different things going on in there. And already I can see a little bit of a difference between the Tamo River paper and the Midori paper. I love that. I don't know if I'll be buying any full bottles of any of these, but I just think it's so interesting. that ink just pools and like look at that just on the first layer that I did it looked like green here more greeny pink here and then on the second layer more darker green around the edges and then that pink beautiful beautiful color so then we'll move on to Sailor Yurameku Itizora this one I feel like looked a lot like Sailor Manyo Haha which again is another gorgeous ink by Sailor. They do the chromo shading really, really well. So here on the Midori, and on the Tamo River paper, and then going in for the second, Oh my gosh, look at how that's already showing different colors. Beautiful. Oh wow. And then going in here with my glass dip pen, drying that off first. Whoops. So Sailor Yurameku. And even the way that it writes looks different. I mean, like, in, I'm looking back at this. This looks more brown. Yurameku Itezora. Oh, I love that blue. Beautiful. Yeah, it does remind me a little bit of Haha. -ha. Tesorbra. <laughs> Look at how, and this is why I like to do different things when I'm doing my ink swatches, is like the drops and the cursive versus the printing. Especially with the shading inks, like you can really see the difference in how it looks in one versus the other. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This would be a really cool fall color. I'm still looking at the Amamoyoi. I think it'd be really good as a fall color. Then the last one is Sailor Yurameku Kyoku. Okay. I actually don't know what this one's gonna look like. Hmm. Kind of reminding me of one, two, three. A little bit. 
Taylor Ink Studio 123. Oh my gosh. It looks different already between the two. It went down like more pinky purple here and then on the Tamo River paper it went down like a grayish purple. So interesting. Oh wow. Let's grab my dip pen here. And I'll leave a link in the description below for where I got my glass dip pen on Amazon. So this is, whoa, oh my gosh, I almost spelled that. Sailor, Yurameku, and it's even writing differently. Kyoku. Wow. I mean, I cleaned my glass dip pen off, so it shouldn't have any remnants of Tezora on there, but it looks different writing with it. Oh my gosh. Gonna cap that before I accidentally knock that over. Yeah, it looks blue writing with it. And then wonder what it's going to look like when it dries. And I don't say anything too much about the wetness of these inks because on the glass dip pen it's always going to show up pretty wet. But oh, I love those three colors now that I look back at that. And you can see how different they are now. This looks more blue, but it might dry differently. Yeah, you can see how that's drying to be more of that color, but it goes down similar to the Itazora, and then once it dries, it has those properties. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. So let's look at all of the Sailor Yurameko inks there. Wow. They're stunning. Absolutely stunning, stunning colors. I can't get over that. And then I have Yurameku Yoi over here, which is kind of like an olive green with pink. I don't know which one would be my favorite out of those. I love Kyoku, but I think that would be really hard to write in in a fine nib. Gosh, I don't know. And I mean, Kitsune Biore is really good too. And I'm, ah, I love them all. I love them all. Mm. All right. So let's just back up here. Okay, so there is my order from Goulet Pens. My, I'm really happy with this 24 pen case from Girologio in the saddle leather. Really love that leather. And then the remaining three Sailor Yurameko inks that I haven't had yet, I absolutely love them and how they look on the different papers. Which one is your favorite out of the Sailor Yurameku? And also, what are you guys using for uh, keeping your fountain pens? Do you like big cases like, I say big cases, do you like zipper pen cases like this? Do you like display cases? What do you guys like? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.